Hi folks, very warm again in uh, London. It's getting on for 28 degrees centigrade. I know that's nothing to what some other countries uh, have, but uh, the, uh, so uh, I, I, I want to go back to acrylics for a while, but uh, they were dry too quick. So uh, here we are, watercolor. First one for a couple of weeks. All right, so this is a 130 30 pound Fabriano student, uh, well, not student quality, it's practice paper. And, uh, and uh, see how we go with it. All right, let me just splash it all around a bit, get a bit of sienna, bit of red. It's uh, thin. I think I've overdone the. Uh... I haven't even changed my water. Oh, that's good. Uh, cloth. I cut some of these yesterday. If you can do quite a bit while it's wet, because this is a painting wetting wet. Oh, the thickness of the, 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 the uh, initial wash. Never mind. Let's uh, just get a little bit heavier with the, uh, with the cloud colour. That, no, I'm going to make that a bit darker because it, all the watercolours dry quite a bit uh, lighter than when you first put it on. Okay, I'll do. Right, take your headphones off, folks, while I do this. Go! Is uh, just about dry considering the state of the atmosphere at the moment. Let's just put it tight. Don't need to stretch your paper. Right now, what shall we put on there? Shall we? Could do a, a moorland scene. Yeah, let's do. A, let's do a moorland scene. God, oh, this is exhausting. This weather. It's lovely, really. You can't complain. We get so much uh, rotten weather. Uh, right, let's uh, do a bit of moorland stuff. Ooh, that's gone a bit. So. Right, okay. Oh, that's a bold start. A bit of Payne's clay. A bit of Ultramane, maybe. To temper that yellow. Oh, 
Okay, and on that we can superimpose some stuff. And from here on, I'm going to well, I'm going to use my media make. I, I learned from uh, one of my pals in America, to the uh, Ron Manson disciples, that I'm still a member of. Uh, I haven't been on it for a long time, but uh, it's Matthew Matthew Clemens. He he set up the Ron Manson disciples page on Facebook and Mike Porter knew Ron Manson and uh, made some videos with Ron and uh, sadly I learned that he's died ah. gone to the palette in the sky now uh, I'm going to use uh, this, that's the other one Water's gone down since I last topped this uh, big uh, pill reservoir up. Uh, my cat likes to drink it, so for some time I have to be a bit careful about that. Right, Payne's Grey, bit of uh, Cad Yellow, not Cad, Cadmium Yellow Light. That's what it is. We can have a little bit of burnt sienna in there. And we can, uh, let's put some, some on, the, on the top of that hill. Right. I'm a bit dark with that, I think. Well, it's just. Very, very light touch. Try and leave some spaces. Oh, holes in the in the foliage so that the birds birds can fly around. This place in uh, Dorset in near Bridport, where there's a big, lovely hill with some pines. It's got the right Scots pines right on the top. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I just had a bit of that cadmium yellow light, so I just thought of that. I painted it several times. Uh, right, three colours in there. Uh, let me just put those on the top here. Okay, we'll come down here and do some brighter ones. More, more dark. It's a bit more paint grey over that mix. I've put too much water on the brush here, yeah, so I'll just add some uh, paint grey. Might turn these into gorse bushes, I don't know.
That yellow is very, very strong. Oh, so is that dog's bark. I try to use all of the brush, like the corners. I use a very limited palette here. I want to toss it held. I'm doing this as fast as I can because it's drying like nobody's business. A bit of burnt sienna now. And I'm just lying all this here. Maybe a bit of red. Light red. And I don't mix any, I don't use ready-made greens, I make them with the, with the primary colours. Get in there. The mount that I use for this show is uh, Reader's A4, A, A4, no A3, sorry. I'm not trying to break records here. Eh? Right, okay, well, there we are. Let's just go back onto the, just strengthen up some of these here. Right, I'll put, I'll put some birds in that, I think. It's, it's a very simple sketch, it's all I feel like doing today. I've done quite a lot lately, but most of all in oils. Uh, I've got this beautiful brush that my friend Sharon sent, sent to me. It's got this rosemary, rosemary, not rosemary, not, she's not rosemary, she's uh, Sharon. Four, it's the number four, rosemary and co, evergreen, wriggler. Oh, there we are. Oh, let's have a Couple of birds, or four. Oh, it's a gorgeous brush look, for doing birds. Ah. Right, I'll give that a try, then I'll just put a little bit of uh, texture in. Do you see? Right, take your headphones off. Go! Okay, get some dark. Paint's grey, that is. Just put some uh, bits of branch in and stuff. Just adds a little bit, bit, bit of interest. My palette is uh, drying as I look at it. I'll show you the palette in a minute. Uh, let's, let's put some gorse in there. Uh, get 
brush. Don't get sick. So now go into this uh, beautiful cajello. It's, it's not the right colour for gauze, obviously. I haven't got a gauze colour. But that's a... Oh, I can put a few in there. So it does uh, cover up a lot of stuff. Uh, right, OK, we'll let that go. We'll uh, put it in the mouth, so if we do that... Just to hold the painting on the on the board. Right, okay. Then I can take the uh, clips off. <clears throat> right, so now just about fits. I've got to photograph this. Uh, I don't know, what is it? I'll put a bit of tape on it just to hold it. Very simple uh, watercolour. Can you see that anywhere on a on a uh, on a moor? Rough ground, uh, but it, it, that's that's sort of speed painting, really. Uh, what I can do, I think, is uh, is just put a little bit, just break up that line. I don't like that. So a bit of burnt, no, a bit of, yeah, a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of paint grey. I didn't, I didn't like that bit there. I, I didn't think about this, I just piled into it. Oh, I think that's a little bit better. So there we are, a very quick uh, rendition of something. I'm switching it. It's a, a real, it could go up to 32 at the weekend, which for us Londoners is uh, pretty warm. Right, okay, well, thanks for watching, folks. Let you look at that for a few seconds. I just want to put this back in its this little tube. Right, bye for now.